All right, so you know when you've had a problem for so long and you've been really waiting for a product to come out with a solution and then someone creates that product and just blows your mind away? That's this planner for me. Ever since we reviewed the Full Focus Planner last year, you guys asked me every single day if I'm still loving and using it. And the answer is yes, my friend. I'm actually on planner number nine, the Full Focus Planner. And that means I've been using it for two years. And today we're gonna review the updated version. Let's get into it. This is the Full Focus Planner. It's a quarterly detailed planner that's taken the entrepreneurship and executive niche by storm and I'm about to show you exactly why. So I chose mine at Oatmeal but it comes in a variety of colors to choose from and as we open it, you'll find the first page is a nifty little section where you can enter your contact information in case your planner gets lost or stolen, which we hope it won't. But one of my favorite sections is this get started page. As you can see, the entire Full Focus team has set up individual instructions to go through this process. You know, one of the things that I think is most important when you're taking a look at a new planner is understanding how the creator designed it. And that's exactly what the team does. You'll get a full library of videos that'll walk you through the individual pages inside of this planner so you can get the most out of it. You'll also get an online guidebook as well as a private Facebook community where you get to ask questions, get inspired by other creators, and just get a lot of ideas for how to get the best out of this planner. Now, as we turn the pages, you'll notice that the entire process of putting in your goals is very much something that is encouraged throughout the system laid out in the full focus planner. So we start off by setting our annual goals and I haven't set mine yet just because I was saving this planner for this tutorial. But one of the things that you really wanna do in these pages is take some time out of your busy schedule and really think about the things you want to accomplish this year. Write them down and then set these individual goals to be accomplished in different times of the year. So there's going to be different quarters where you can literally just add here, like let's say I want to reach 100,000 YouTube subscribers. That might be my quarter one goal or it might be my quarter four goal. You want to assign individual deadlines to your goals and make sure that you are actually setting yourself up for success. Another great little feature that the Full Focus Planner offers is two individual ribbons. So you have this one blue one over here where you can set it for your daily pages and then you have this other one here where you can use it to check out your individual goals every day. Michael Hyatt really encourages you to start your day by looking at your annual goals and I love that process. So let's move on to the goal detail pages. Once you've set annual goals, now it's time to really get into the weeds with your goals and figure out what your goal summary is, whether it's an achievement or a habit goal, and really categorize it under a specific area of your life. There's also key motivation. So why do you want to achieve that goal? And then next steps, how can you move forward so that you can start making headway towards that milestone or that goal? Finally, there is a, how are you going to reward yourself section, which I absolutely love. And there's also a street tracker. So you never miss a beat and you stay on track. Next up, we have our monthly calendar. Because the Full Focus Planner is set up in a quarterly format, you're gonna get to plan out your entire quarter at a glance. So we have here, let's say a calendar for January, February, and March, as well as rolling quarter pages, which I'll talk about in just a second. But I did want to note that I love the fact that the Full Focus Planner gives you a space for major projects where you can jot down things you really need to accomplish that month that'll drive you closer towards your quarterly goal. So these rolling quarters pages are really useful. Personally, 
I don't use them as often just because I don't necessarily need to see my whole quarter in advance, but it's something I'm gonna challenge myself to do this year. I think it's great to have it, especially if you're one of those people who really likes to plan in advance and see everything that you need to accomplish or all the meetings or big projects or deadlines that you have throughout that quarter. So now let's take a look at our daily ritual pages. And this was the game changer for me when I started using the Full Focus Planner. I did have a morning routine, but I didn't really understand the concept of turning on and off my mind as I progress through my workday. So Michael Hyatt encourages you to create a morning ritual, then a workday startup ritual, a workday shutdown ritual, as well as an evening ritual. And you're going to plan out all of these structured habits that'll help you stay super productive and focused. Turning the page, we find our ideal week, and this is a perfect space to dream up what you would want your week to look like. Really schedule in some rejuvenation time, some family time, some self-care time, so that you're not just focused on getting things done all the time, but you're balancing your life out. So important if you're an executive or an entrepreneur. So before I move on, I wanted to mention that this is not a sponsored video although I wish it was, it really should be, but we do have a referral link in the description box below where you can get $10 off your first full focus planner in case you're curious and you wanna try it out. And now the moment we've been waiting for, the daily pages. So this is the meat and bones of the Full Focus Planner, and they're really great detailed pages to get the best out of your day. So you'll start off by listing your three most important tasks, your non-negotiables, the things you absolutely need to get done that day in order to move closer to your weekly and quarterly goals. Next, you're gonna put down all the other tasks down here. These are things that are not as important, maybe they're admin tasks, things that you need to get done, but are not absolutely crucial to your business or moving forward with your brand. You're also going to check out that you completed your morning workday work day shutdown and evening rituals right up top. And then there's a great time blocking section right here where you can literally block hour by hour what you're going to accomplish that day. I love using this section personally as my gratitude journal section. So I'll list out three things I'm grateful for that day. And then I'll jot down any notes or ideas that come up as I move forward throughout my day. Now I wanted to show you what this looks like in action. This is one of my daily pages. And as you can see here, we can literally write down everything I need to accomplish that day, check it off as I go, and then also write anything that's not as important, but also needs to get done. There's also my gratitude section here. That's what I use the notes for. And then there's also like different ideas that I'm jotting down as I progress throughout my day. Now, these weekly preview pages are probably the thing that's going to allow you to stay the most focused throughout your week. I love taking some time out every single week, about 30 minutes or so, to look back on that week, figure out if I'm actually nailing my goals and what I can do better the next week. So you'll see here, you'll write down your biggest wins and take note of anything that's happened that week that's been important or that you wanna celebrate. You'll also keep track of your weekly big three goals, which are three goals that you've set that week that are non-negotiable and what percentage you were able to complete them. You also look here and see what worked and what didn't. You also keep notes of what you need to improve on, what you need to stop or start doing, as well as a list of your deferred tasks, delegated tasks, or daily notes to review before you start creating and planning the upcoming week. Now, step four is my favorite. This is the weekly overview, and this is actually new from the previous planner, but you literally get a section for planning personal tasks and a section for planning professional tasks. So in this personal task, obviously you're going to write down anything that needs to get done. And then also here in the professional section, any projects, tasks that need to get done by the end of that week. Now, before I used to literally just write down days that I wanted these tasks to be accomplished. So I knew, Hey, on Tuesday, this is what I'm getting done on Friday. I need to get this done on Wednesday. I need to get that done. But the new planner actually has a really nifty weekly planning section, which I'm sure you've seen in other planners before, but it does come super in handy here. So you can plug and play, hey, this is what I'm gonna do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then cross it off as you go. In the next step, you're gonna set new weekly goals for the upcoming week. So what is it that you need to get done? And of course, the part where you review the previous week really helps inspire what you need to get done in the upcoming week. 
There's also this new self-care planner section and guys, I am loving this section. It really prompts you to set self-care goals for the week. So sleep, eat, move, connect and relax are awesome prompts for things that you can plan for yourself to do in order to get a lot of rejuvenation out of your week and not just, you know, totally burn out. And then we're back to our daily pages and you'll continue on these daily pages and weekly reviews for the rest of the quarter. Now at the end of the quarter, there is a quarterly preview, which is really just a quarterly review. And that's awesome. It really helps me list out my major wins for that quarter, what I accomplished and what I didn't, what worked and what didn't go my way, what I'm going to keep doing, improve, start or stop doing according to how that quarter went. And then there's also really great prompts in this page. So Michael Hyatt has this awesome book called Living Forward in which he encourages you to create a life plan. So you're supposed to review your life plan, then set annual goal reviews or complete that process. You're also gonna check your monthly calendar and review that, set your ideal week review, do a daily rituals review, and then look at your new daily pages. Now there are some extra nice little pages included here in the planner. First, you'll see notes. So if you're at a meeting or you have a ton of ideas, this is a great place to jot them down. And if you're more of a visual person, they also give you the ability to sketch. So there are some sketching pages as well back here, which also come really in handy. Last but not least, there's an index. So if you wanted to jot down individual topics that maybe you wrote notes around, you can also add the pages here so you never uh, feel lost in terms of what to refer to. And then there's a full list of resources that you can take advantage of as you move forward in your full focus journey. I love this little feature. That's the last thing I have to show you. It's just a little pocket here in the planner and you get to maybe add some receipts or carry maybe an extra pen with you. It's really nice. Um, I love that little feature. So there you have it. That's the full focus planner updated version. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up that lets us know that you enjoyed this type of content. And hey, if you're totally into productivity, marketing and online business, this is the channel to be at. So definitely consider subscribing and let's crush it together. Don't forget that we have a $10 off discount in the description box below if you wanted to grab your full focus planner. I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. So if you're interested, definitely try it out. Thank you so much for watching. Un beso, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.